hello everyone and welcome to another youtube video and in today's video we are going to be learning how to use ibm spss to actually perform descriptive statistics so basically descriptive statistics is actually a branch of statistics that helps us to summarize our data sets using details like numbers and also using graphical tools so basically descriptive statistics is actually divided into two parts we have what we call the visual measure aka the data visualization and this is where you are going to be using pictures charts and tables to actually summarize and tell a story about your data set and we have the numerical measure and this is the part where we are going to be using some couple of numbers to actually summarize and tell a story about our data set so this video is actually going to be focusing more on the numerical analysis part of descriptive statistics and uh, in the next video we are going to be talking about the data visualization so when it comes to using numbers to actually describe your data set in statistics we actually have two basic important measures we have what we call the measure of central tendency aka the measure of central location which helps us to locate the center of our data set it has details like the mean the median and the mode and we have the measure of dispersion which actually helps us to determine the spread of our data sets we have details like the variance the standard deviation and the range just to mention a few so i actually have a video where i've actually gone so in depth about each of those concepts and everything you need to know about the concept of numerical analysis under descriptive statistics so i'll be linking that video in the top right corner and also in the description so you can just check that out and get refreshed regarding that aspect of statistics so let me try to like um bring in my data set from excel and then we start uh, the descriptive statistics with IBM SPSS. So this is actually my data and it is actually a car price data set. So as you can see, we have car ID, we have symbol, we have car name, we have a total of 27 variables and most of those variables right here are actually numerical in nature and we also have a couple of them being categorical if you still need to learn about the concept of numerical and categorical variables i would actually be linking a video also in the top right corner so you can just go check that out so when it comes to numerical measure that is the mean median mode and the measure of dispersion they can only work for numerical values so meaning you can only get the mean of a data set that is quantifiable that can take a numerical value in this case we have the wheelbase we have the car length we have the car width let's come to the variable view okay so all of this numerical variable right here all of this numeric 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 all of them or we can actually get uh the measure of central tendency and the dispersion attached to them so to get the mean median mode all you have to do is to come to analyze and you're going to be seeing descriptive statistics right here now once you come here you're going to be seeing uh two things that i pay attention to the frequencies and the descriptive so let's start with the descriptive then i enter the frequency so when you click on the descriptive it brings out this dialog uh, which lists all of your variables and as you can see none of the categorical variables are actually present here in the descriptive so you can decide to like just let's say we want to pick like the car lens you can click on it then use this arrow to like send it right here or you can just drag it right here so that's that about that uh then you come to options and you will see a list of things that you can actually select if you want the mean the sum the standard deviation the variance so i like to just click everything because it's important so i i need the sum the variance the range the standard error of the mean now the courtesies and skewness this is all about the distribution then it will actually ask you to display order so just pick anyone that suits you i, I prefer to use the variable list so i click that so the style it's really nothing to touch just leave it the way it is and we don't need to talk about the bootstrap right now we'll actually come to that later on so you can actually save standardized values and variable meaning spss is going to calculate the z score attached to each of the variables that you actually talked about or you touched in this case calling so i don't think we need that for now once i click ok it runs the code and it brings out the table that summarizes everything that you need to know about the descriptive statistics of car lens. So you can actually edit this. If you double click on this, you know, it's edit and you can do a lot of things right here. You can select all of this and, uh, you know, 
change the fonts i love using times news roman okay so i look for time new roman where is this oh yeah you are all right so i also want to like transpose this so i can just come here pivot i transpose it and you know make it so you can just do a lot of things right here you know just things that suit you and that's this so this is the descriptive statistics that actually defines uh car length you can also edit by that uh, okay you can also edit this by saying uh this is car length excuse me uh car length all right so that's that and it works like that so you can also pick other variables you know you can come here descriptive and pick another one in fact you can actually do a whole lot at the same time you can just pick car width you can pick car height you can pick the curb weight you can analyze as much as possible at the same time and it runs the code and drop everything right here and you can just you know work on that so when you come to the frequency aspect of descriptive analysis okay so this part is going to like it's going to include the categorical variables like car name as you can see and car body because this time it's frequency you actually want to like know how many times is a data point repeating itself and stuff like that so let's take um something let's say drive wheel so for drive wheel if you come to the statistics uh you can't get the obviously if you click this it's one if you click the main media mode quarter standard deviation and all of those stuffs that are meant for numerical values it won't get it for you but you can actually get a chart let me say bar chart pie chart let's say bar chart then the chart values can also be in percentages or so so you can click ok you can also create an apa style table if you want that and um format you choose what you want to choose right here all right style and bootstrap you can actually come down to that so the statistics if you decide to click on quartiles mean median mode sum standard deviation minimum and all of those right here just all of those okay so let's see what happens so you click on okay it runs the code and you see yourself right here so you see it did not give me the value of the mean median mode or anything because it's a categorical variable now we have the driver wheel okay so this is forward this is uh fwd and this is rwd this is not still uh for data visualization we're still going to come back to that okay so it actually gives you the number of valid values missing values and then of this data set uh 4.4 percent is for forward uh 58.5 percent is for uh fwd and uh 37.1 percent is for rwd so this is best used to just calculate frequencies and a percentage of uh groups or categories that actually make up a variable and this is how you can actually perform descriptive statistics from the numerical standpoint in ibm spss we'll see in the next one bye for now